what's up guys so in this video I want to show a way to navigate using the Sun by making a Sun compass also known as the shadow stick method all that you'll need to do this is a stick and a few marking pegs I'll show you how to do this all right now before you begin you first want to find even ground it's preferred that there's no slope and your first step is to place a long stick into the ground and it will cast its first shadow now step two is to mark the tip of the first shadow all right now how this works is that the sun rises in the east and sets in the west so as the sun rises from the east it casts its first shadows to the west and as the sun sets in the west it casts its last shadows to the east now as the sun spans across the sky over the course of the day and you making markers of each shadow every 15 minutes will give you your east-west line and that can help you navigate the next step is to find true north from your east-west line and I'll go over that now step three is to wait 15 minutes between each marker and I'll time-lapse that for you alright guys so it seems we ran out of sun so I won't be able to time-lapse any longer but enough has been done to explain how the sun compass works now when I placed the stick originally it casted the first shadow which I marked with this peg I waited 15-20 minutes to mark the second peg and another 15-20 minutes to mark this third peg now if you wanted to navigate very quickly and you didn't have a lot of time to time lapse the whole day which you don't need to define direction you just need your original first two and this line which is the same line that follows all the rest of them is your east-west line that is your east and west line and it follows even with the first two so what you'd want to do is place a marker or another stick you can use this one now and place it perpendicular to your east-west line that is your north and south line now I want to correct some videos I've seen on YouTube where they'll place the stick make their first marker wait a bit of time make their second marker and what they do just to pretend this stick is a shadow is that they follow the direction of the shadow sometimes they even remove the stick stand where the stick was and where their shadow is pointing they would follow that direction for north it's a northern direction but it's not exactly north now I want to show you solar noon because the sun rises in the east and sets in the west but the earlier in the day the longer the shadow and the later in the day the longer the shadow and this is what I mean this first shadow casted here is the longest of all these shadows I'll place my finger here I will not move it now look where it is very far from the stick and what you do is you put the bottom of the stick on your shadow stick and you rotate it like the hand of a clock now once I put my fingers here once I start moving it it starts trying to go below the stick so I know that solar noon is somewhere around in this direction and what solar noon does the value of solar noon is it points true north that shadow it actually points true north if you want to follow any shadow that I was able to peg each one of these markers from you'd follow solar noon and that points north in the northern hemisphere but points south in the southern hemisphere so therefore south is directly the opposite direction here so and how we can test this is I have a compass here with me still have to compensate a few degrees for magnetic north and I'll show you how accurate this method really is I'll zoom in on it for you now following the east-west line I'm going to check the compass to see how accurate it is and you see that it actually points north and to compensate for magnetic north that's very 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 close to pointing north exactly where I told you north is now this is the north and south 
stick that runs perpendicular to the east-west stick and all of it is accurate that's how to test alright so that's it that's, there's not much else to go over the sun compass just remember that the sun rises in the east and sets in the west therefore the first shadows of the day will cast to the west and the last shadows of the day will cast to the east and marking each one of those shadows from your shadow stick will give you your east and west line and solar noon casts the shortest shadow and solar noon points north in the northern hemisphere and points south in the southern hemisphere and solar noon is about right here alright so that's it go make your own